What's up, people? It's your boy Leaf, and today I got five weapon loadouts that I want to show you guys might be become a very meta once the AUG and FFAR gets nerfed. Of course, we're going to start out with the AMAX that you guys already see on the screen here. So the AMAX, we're running the regular loadout, which is just the mono suppressor, Zodiac with the VLK, Commander Full Grip, and the 45 round mags. So we all know this was the gun everyone was running before the AUG and the FBR became so popular. And the reason why the AMAX is such a good gun is just due to the fact that it has great TTK and amazing range. The only big issue with the AMAX, I personally feel like, is the bullet velocity. That is something you have to get used to, leading your shots a little bit ahead. And the other issue that some players might have is the recoil control. So once you get used to the recoil control, like I said, it's not that big of an issue. But of course, that those two things are a hurdle that you have to get over to use the AMAX to the fullest potential. And then the second weapon loadout that I have for you guys is, of course, going to be the MAG-10. Like I said, the AMAX and the MAG-10 are going to come back no matter what because these two weapon loadouts are just so, so reliable. I'm going to be running the Agency Suppressor, Cavalry, Lancer, Field Agent Grip, and the 53 round Drum Mag. Uh, for the fifth attachment, it's going to be the stock. I like running the SS combat stock, but sometimes I also like running the no stock just for the sprint to fire speed. But the firewall moving speed and the ADS wall firing moving speed is very good for the close quarters with the submachine gun. So go ahead and give these two stocks a try. See which one you like better, but the AMAX and the MAG-10 are definitely going to come back. And then for the third weapon loadout I have for you guys is going to be the Ram-7. So the Ram-7 is an amazing weapon for Warzone, especially how I'm building it in the B-roll you guys are seeing in the background. I like running the Ram-7 as a long to medium range AR. I'm running the Mono Suppressor FSS Ranger Barrel, VLK 3x Optic, Commando Foregrip, and the 50 round mags. Of course, the Ram 7 is a little bit harder to control and might seem like it's a very hard recoil pattern, but the only reason why it feels that way is just due to the fact that it recoils to the left compared to other guns that actually recoil to the right. But once you get used to that, it's super easy. It's kind of like the Kilo, I like to say. Not that much vertical recoil. Uh, the biggest issue is just that horizontal and it's going to the left, so it's a little bit harder to use, but I definitely recommend you guys give the Ram 7 a try. Especially when you mount the Ram 7, there's literally no recoil with the Ram 7. And once you get used to control that recoil, you can beam people very far away. It's a great weapon for the next meta, I feel like it's gonna be coming. Go ahead and check out the Ram 7 if you haven't already and try to get used to that recoil pattern. All right, and then the fourth gun that I feel like will be very, very competitive in Warzone is gonna be the gallo sa12 so you guys already all see it i made a video on it too but i'm running agency choke reinforce heavy ember sight points no stock and the 12 round tube super effective gun for close quarter engagements you're going to be able to outgun anyone up close to maybe about seven to ten meters but anything past that you're going to definitely want smg and but i love the gallo it's a lot of fun to play kind of reminds me of the origin meta uh, the big issue with this gun is that it takes a while to reload that 12 round uh, tube just because there's no slide of hand or anything. It takes a little bit longer, but as you guys can see in the gameplay, in the background there, it's a super effective gun and very enjoyable to use. Hopefully you guys have been leveling this thing up because I'm telling you guys it's, it might just be a shotgun meta all over again. And then for the fourth best weapon loadout, it's going to be the M19. So I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on the M19. This pistol is freaking amazing. If you want to get restock, ghost, or high alert off the rip, don't use an RPG. All right, don't do that. Use this M19, okay? It has great hit fire and it shreds super close up, very viable. What I'm running on it is the muzzle brake, 5MW, a lightweight trigger, 32 round mags, and a Kimbo. So, like I said, try this gun out. This one has to be definitely my favorite secondary to use currently right now, uh, especially since they nerf the Diamantes. So go ahead and give this weapon a try and see if you're gonna like it on your Ghost restock or high alert class. And then if you made it this far, I just wanna give you guys a six best weapon loadout. Uh, this is gonna be an honorable mention. It's gonna be the Pellington, all right? I, I know, I know the ground Pellington is big booty. I'm not going to lie, but I'm hoping that they're going to fix some of these attachments to make these Cold War sniper rifles a little bit more, uh, how do I say, competitive. 
since uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's tired of uh, seeing the Car 98 after after that last AUG, FFAR, and sort of Car 98 meta since everyone was running it. But the Pellington is a really nice in between between the Car 98 and the SPR. So what I'm running on it is the Wrap Suppressor Combat Recon. These two gives the best bullet velocity, so please use these. And then I'm running the Bruiser Grip. The only reason why I'm running this is for the movement speed. The issue is aim stability. It's currently bug, so that's not working properly. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they're gonna fix the attachments for the sniper for Cold War just to make them a little bit more competitive. And then running the seven round mags on it. You can run the fast reloader if you would like. Um, and then I'm running the SAS combat stock. What you can do to make it very competitive in its current mode or situation right now is to actually switch the seven round mags and put on the axial arms three times. This gives you the same magnification as the Car 98 scope without having a sniper glare. The only issue why I don't like the axial arms three times is just with my Nvidia filters on my PC, I get this weird red hue or haze or fog and it makes it very difficult for me to see my enemies. But I say, screw it, I'm just gonna run the regular scope. But go ahead and try this Pellington loadout. It's gonna be a very aggressive sniper rifle, kind of like the Car 98. Give it a try, see if you guys like it. I'm hoping, hoping that they fix these attachments for the Cold War snipers, because I would love to use them more often. All right, so those are my five best loadouts for this upcoming meta, one's the FFAR and the AUG gets nerfed. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys learned something and found value from this video, go ahead and do me a favor, smash the like button and subscribe. I also do spectating randoms and just some gameplay. So if you guys wanna see that, like I said, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free, helps me out a whole bunch. Uh, comment down below what other guns you think are going to be very meta after the AUG and FFAR gets nerfed. Go ahead and comment down what you think below and I'll try to get to you once I can. Good luck in Warzone. I hope I see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.